Hi everyone, we're back at UKG with Scott from Minerva Games. Mate, how are Hello. you? Yeah, very good, thank you. Right, so this is Crumbs, the sandwich filler game. Yes. This is your next release, so why don't you tell us all about it and how it works? Yeah, certainly. So it's a 18 card micro game about uh, making sandwiches to feed a queue of hungry customers. Uh, you have a limited amount of time uh, to make and serve a sandwich and each time you do it resets your actions and you get to continue. Uh, but if you ever run out of actions without having served a sandwich, then the queue get restless uh, and they're going to leave and give you a bad review. Game over. So the way it works is uh, we'll take two of these uh, ingredient cards and flip them over. So on the other side of uh, every ingredient are customers and their orders. And so you flip two over at the beginning and this represents the beginning of your queue. So we'll just pop those there. And then each of them have uh, different amounts and types of sandwiches that they're looking for. And you have to make at least one of them to then progress to the next round. Mm -hmm. The aim of the game is to complete uh, three customer cards to win and then you add up their difficulty rating and that's your score, your ranking. Yeah. The actions are quite simple. Uh, the main one that you will be using is assemble, which is where you take as much as you want of one ingredient, that's either bread or the six fillings, and place it in your prep area. So uh, as an example, you would start with bread, because you can't really make a bread without putting down, uh, can't make a sandwich without putting bread down first. Yeah. So you would, uh, you would spend an action and you grab some bread. You can put, as I said, as much as you want of one ingredient down. And that's kind of the key to success in yeah. crumbs. Um, because some of these sandwiches are quite complex and they take more than five actions to make. So you have to plan ahead a bit and make the most of your actions. So for instance, I could put uh, three slices of bread down as part of one action because there's uh, a number of breads available. And then um, I have four actions remaining so I can look at the sandwiches that I have and the ingredients are in and see if there's any that kind of match that I can put um, across sandwiches. Yeah. Um, so as an example here, um, we've got a nice uh, ham salad sandwich, Lovely. but also this uh, very hungry customer is looking for a sandwich with one of everything in. So what I would do is I would spend an action, I'd take my two salad cards and then I can put one here and one here. Then I can uh, carry on with that. So I'm going to spend another action to place down some ham. Uh, this customer also wants ham, so I can put some ham down there. Then as a final action, I can take some bread. In this case, this customer wants some sesame bread. Uh, when you've got a few different types of bread. Um, and you have to match the, the top slides. Yep. Uh, but you can pick, you don't have to take the top ones off the deck, you can pick uh, whichever you want. And there we go. So four actions, we've made our first sandwich and we've made progress on other sandwiches as well. Yeah. When you make the sandwich it's and uh, finish it, it's immediately served. You take the ingredients and they get discarded into the pantry but then you can restock any one of these ingredients back into your counter. Yeah. Uh, so in this case, I could either take both the bread, a ham or a salad. Uh, let's take the bread back as an example. And then these would stay here. You can spend actions during the round uh, to restock these as well yeah. uh, outside of the free one that okay. you get. Uh, that will become key later in the game. This will become quite bare and you have to strategically restock items to make sure that you've got what you need. Yeah. So then after you've served your sandwich, you put a little token down to represent that one is done, and then you can move on. Your actions reset back to five, yeah. and you go again. So you notice that I actually had one action spare there. Uh, so what I could have done is I could have held off from putting that final slice of bread down yeah. and put, say, another ingredient on this mega sandwich before moving on. Yeah. Uh, the final action that you can do is uh, some of these sandwiches you'll see, they also uh, are toasted sandwiches and all the slices of bread, their opposite sides are toasted. 
and so you can spend an action to toast as many slices of bread as you want. Okay. And as I said before, it's always as much as you want of one thing. So whether it's um, assembling ingredients, uh, restocking, or toasting, yeah. you want to time your actions to make sure that you can get the most out of each one. Uh, once you've finished uh, your customer, uh, your queue will expand and then you work on the next two and you progress through yeah. um, until you've completed three. And that is Crumbus. Crumbus. It, it looks simple, but it's, it's not. As I it's, found out to my uh, plane <laughs> yesterday. Yes, it's a, it's a, a deceptively uh, pretty game. Yeah. Um, you, there's a lot of... It's, it sounds weird, but it's a game that's... You're designed to fail, yeah, uh, and you're designed to fail and learn each time about what you, what more you can do to be more yeah, efficient. Yeah. Uh, and it's definitely one of those games that you, um, you'll lose and be like, okay, how did how did I lose? Yeah, yeah. And like, okay, ne next next time. time, and then you just reset and you go again, and yeah, you'll yeah. find yourself making more and more kind of like of those decisions where it's so satisfying when you can either restock the, like like four bread in one go yeah or you toast um two sandwiches at the same time and finish both of them it's, yeah yeah it's it's very satisfying feeling right what's the plan to bring this to market then yes so it's uh, launching on kickstarter uh, early august okay so um our pre-launch page is already live and gathering uh followers yeah. so um yeah you can um, save the project for when it launches yeah. i'll put a link to that down below thank you so that's great. If people want to find out more about you and your game, Scott, where should they go? Uh, I'm at Minerva Tabletop on most social media. Um, and my website is uh, minervatabletop.co.uk. Excellent. Thanks for having a chat with us, mate. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.